Good morning YouTube friends! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a fall homemaking video. You're going to be shopping with me, cooking with me, cleaning with me. And I'm outside Walmart so we are going to go inside and go get what we need to make beef lentil stew. I'm going to be making beef lentil stew tonight and I have most of the ingredients but not all of them so I'm going to be grabbing what I need from inside Walmart. Josh has the kids right now so come along with me let's go shopping. Okay, so I'm done with my shopping trip at Walmart. I'm sorry I didn't get a whole lot of footage in there. It's actually a lot harder to film and shop. Harder than I thought. I did film the Christmas stuff, but I just, I get distracted and I feel like I can't look for what I'm after while I'm filming and I'm self-conscious if people are watching me. So anyway, sorry that wasn't super exciting, but Let's go home now and do what I'm more comfortable doing, which is the cooking and the cleaning. Okay, now that I'm home from the store, I'm going to work on getting the beef lentil stew into the crock pot. I'm going to be using two cartons of beef broth. And I couldn't find actual stew meat, but I grabbed this meat, so this will have to do. I'm just going to put that in raw. I'm going to be adding a whole bag of carrots, peeled and chopped, three stalks of celery, and then I did not follow a recipe for this. I'm just eyeballing everything, but this is one yellow onion. three Roma tomatoes, a little bit of oregano, again I didn't measure anything or use a recipe. This is a little bit of basil, a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of paprika, some cumin, and then just salt and pepper this to your liking. Then I added about a cup of rinsed lentils, gave this a quick stir, and then popped the lid on, and then I cooked this for about six hours on high. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be? If I leave tonight, we could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now till the morning light? Before you turn away, I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find I'm standing right here I know that I told you we're over I swear that I'm sober Just listen, I miss you And I know that I said all these things But now when you're with her I can see that, that you miss
So Mason is about to have a snack. Have you ever seen a kid more excited over an <laughs> avocado? I have to wash it and cut it. It's coming. So Logan is going to be spending the night with my mom tomorrow. So I'm going to pack him a bag real quick and then I'm going to be cleaning up his room. Is that for me? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> You're so funny. I'm trying to let go of this heartache. It's been following me. So now the kids and I are sitting down to dinner. This is a pretty typical evening for us. We often eat just the three of us because my husband works evenings. Two days a week he has off so he gets to eat dinner with us, but this is our usual. So after we eat, I will clean up the kitchen and I like it when I make crock pot meals because I can just leave the crock pot set to warm. I don't have to put any food away and then he can still have a warm meal ready for him when he gets home. I used to think I had plenty of dreams and light in my life. So my glass was half empty. Small lines are 
already turning on the bed. Nathan, will you please put that middle button, Nathan? Please put that middle button. <laughs> you put the wrong button, Nathan. Nathan put the wrong button. <laughs> Okay, let's try it again. I don't know.